What is up, best ones worldwide? It's the best one, Donnie here, back with a brand new wrestling figure unboxing video. If you're not a best one yet already, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, because of course you already know, the grind is real. And we got a package, once again, from good old Ringside Collectibles. If you want to save 10%, recommend you guys to use another wrestling figure's code. That's what I'd be doing. It really does help with the shipping. Hopefully one day I can give you guys the best one code to save 10%. We need to get this deal done, Ringside. But today, we got the AEW Unmatched Series 8 figures. It's about time, so... With that being said, let's get it! So before we start this review, I do want to just let you guys know when it comes to my AEW unmatched, unrivaled exclusives. I usually keep the figures mint on card. I like to keep them in the boxes because usually my goal is to get these figures signed by the wrestlers. And man, AEW, we need to step up. I can't believe it took this long to get these figures out. And I can't believe we don't have Unmatched Series 9 up for pre-order yet, or 10, or even, you know, the next Unrivaled Series after the one we get in March coming out. They're really losing a lot of momentum here with the figure line, and I want to keep getting new characters. I want to continue to grow my AEW figure collection. This is what really got me back into collecting wrestling figures as a whole, because if you don't know my story... I had lots of wrestling figures growing up, and I sold 90% of my collection totes for dirt cheap. And AEW gave me a reason to get back into wrestling figure collecting, which is why I'm so passionate about this line. It's all love at the end of the day. So, starting things off, we have our first figure here in the Unmatched Series 8 series, we have Malachi Black in the suit, which I gotta say, oh man, I really do love AEW's figures when it comes to promo attire. I think that's one thing that they definitely strive at. A little better than WWE, I think there's a little bit more detailing when it comes to the promo attire wrestling gear that they do pick on these AEW figures. But with this Malachi Black, of course, we have the same packaging that we normally get with these un with the unmatched figures. We get the gray foil, the AEW logo at the top. We also get his name, Malachi Black, on the side. Number 60 in Series 8 Unmatched Collection. Looks like we also do get an interchangeable head. One with the teeth sticking out, and then the other, just a regular pissed-off look. I do love this all-black suit that Malachi is wearing. Definitely looks really good. And I believe these are some different head sculpts that we do have on this Malachi, which, you know, I'm always down for new head sculpts when it comes to wrestling figures. We also get some interchangeable hands with them. And then on the back, we have him posing with the suit. And this was on Dynamite Road Rager and... July 7th, 2021. 22, 23... Three years! Almost three years it took to get this figure. Wow. And of course, we do have the rest of the set here. We only have five in this one, which is very weird. The Unrivaled, we're getting extra figures, and then... Now we're getting... Ah, man. Whew, Jazzware, you got a lot of explaining to do here. 2021. Well, at least we got this Malachi figure. It's about time. Moving on now to our next figure in the set. We have Pentagon. And 
I gotta say, this is a really sick figure looking at it. I know we continue to keep getting Ray Phoenix figures and Pentagon figures, but this one I really like. It's a lot more different. It's more darker. Love the way they have them posed in the packaging here. But with this Pentagon figure, of course, we have the same packaging as well with the gray foil, the AEW logo at the top. This time around, we have Penta Oscuro, which, you know, he has changed from Pentagon Jr. to that, which I do like the upgrade there. I love the picture we have here on the side, Unmatched Collection, number 63, Series 8. I love the head sculpt that we do get with this Pentagon with the mouth open, looking good with the black mask. And then he's also got this really nice trench coat that he's wearing with this really cool silver gloves with the shovel going down, which, man, I love how we have this posed in the packaging. Looks so good. And we even get the hand gestures as well as the other hand sculpt. The other hands that we do get with this figure. And then on the back, we do have the rest of this set here. Which, this was in Bridgeport, Connecticut on February 23rd, 2022. Such a really nice figure in the package. And I'm actually going to be meeting the Lucha Brothers. Hopefully this time it actually goes through at the big event New York, March 16th. If you guys are at that event, I will be there vlogging for my We Are Wrestling channel. And I'm going to be getting lots of wrestling figures signed. Lucha Brothers, I got a lot of figures I got to get signed by them. Another Penta for the collection. Definitely a massive upgrade. Moving on now to our next figure in the set. Unfortunately, it is not the chase. We got Brody King. Very first AEW figure. This is long over, dude. It's about time we got a Brody figure for the House of Black. And let me just say, when it comes to the chases, I try to go after the ones I really like. And this chase Brody King, I need for my collection really bad. I love the chase, what they have for the head sculpt. Oh, man. But this is still a really sick figure. And with this Brody King here, we have the same packaging as usual with the gray foil, the AEW logo at the top. We got his name, Brody King, there on the side. Number 61 in Series 8, Unmatched Collection. Love the picture we have of him on the side. And then with this Brody King, I do love that. We get the regular head sculpt there. We also get an interchangeable one. With his mask, which I love the House of Black mask. They're just always so freaking sick. And then we get this really cool rubber jacket as well that he's wearing with the hoodie. And I do love that. He has like the, the skulls right there on the side of like the bones in his body, which is cool. The tattoos look really good on this figure. He's got the Illuminati on the tights there. And we also get some interchangeable fist hands as well. And then on the back, we have Brody King. And this is from March 8th, 2022. Man, can't believe it's taken this long to get these figures. But Brody King, really glad to have this in the collection. I am definitely on the hunt for that chase. And I know Targets, they've been getting these figures I do need to go on a toy hunt. It's been a minute for you guys. I know you guys really enjoy them, so we got to get back on the grind when it comes to toy hunting because I've been a little lazy and not even going to lie to you guys. But so happy to finally get Brody for the collection. Our next figure for this set that I'm really excited about to add to this collection, we got Buddy Matthews, his very first AEW figure, and just from the looks of this, I think that this is a massive upgrade from those WWE Elite ones that we got. I love the way that these figures look in the packaging. Oh, man. And I just love the fact that it's all uniform. It's all the same. So having these on the wall, it doesn't look funny. It doesn't look weird. But, man, this Buddy Matthews is a massive up upgrade from his Elite one. 
But with this Buddy Matthews here, of course, we have the same packaging. We got the AEW logo with the silver foiling right there on the sides. We have Buddy Matthews' name, number 62 in Series 8, Unmatched Collection. The picture looks absolutely sick. He's got his hands out just with this really mean look. And then with this figure here, we do have just a serious basic face that he has on him which I do like the choice that they went with there. The interchangeable head looks freaking awesome with this figure. He's got the horns, he's got the mask. And then I love the rubber jackets. Like for AEW, I think that the jackets are great. And he's got the same similar jacket to Brody King, which I do like. So when you have the House of Black together, they're all gonna look really good. And he's got the tape wrist around him, and it looks like he has a painted elbow pad on him. And I just love the gear choice that we do have here for Buddy Matthews. We get some interchangeable fist hands. And then on the back, we have Buddy Matthews with the mask, looking really freaking cool. And this is also from AEW Revolution on March 6, 2022. It's about time we got Buddy Matthews and Brody King for the collection. Now all we need is Julia Hart to complete this. And we're probably not even going to be getting her until like 2026 at this point. But very happy to finally have Buddy Matthews and Brody King in the collection. And finally, our last figure for this set, AEW Unmatched Series 8. We have ROH... CM Punk, part of the Luminaires Collection series, and I'm very surprised we still got this figure, despite what happened at All In, and now him being in WWE, I'm really glad we got this figure, I was very nervous, I am actually going to be trying to find the chase for this one in the red gear as well, and I do want to get another one of these CM Punks, so that I can throw him on a miscellaneous shelf, because I do think I am going to start collecting Ring of Honor figures once we get the vault. Probably in 2025 at this point. But, whoo, man. I love the head sculpt on this CM Punk. But one thing that I'm noticing here that I don't like. Why are why is AEW still having a hard... Why is Jazzware having a hard time with this whole stating thing? Because I don't know if this is with all the CM Punks. In the package, but I should not be able to see the plastic that's in the front there on his neck. I should not be seeing that with my figure. I'm so disappointed in that because I love keeping these figures in the package. I hope that other CM Punk figures are not like this and it's just mine. God, that looks awful in the packaging. I am not happy about this. That stupid plastic. So freaking stupid. But, man, with this CM Punk figure, of course, we do have the same packaging style, but obviously it's the Luminaires collection, so we do have this more hologram color going on with the box, which I do like that we keep these in a certain theme here with the AEW logo. And then we have CM Punk's name, number 59 in Series 8. The Luminaires Collection, we have the old school picture of CM Punk there, looking really good, and I gotta say, this figure, I feel like has gotten some hate from people in the figure community, I love this head sculpt, I think that this looks just like old school CM Punk, definitely better than that Lionheart Jericho in my opinion. But love this old school ROH look to CM Punk, he's got the long blonde hair, Love the head sculpt that we do have here with him. He's even got the old school jacket there, which I really like. And he's got his yellow long shorts with punk on the side there with the kick pads and the knee pads looking good. He's also got some fist hands as well with this figure and a Ring of Honor microphone. So that is a very first time that we got something like that. And then on the back, we have an old picture of CM Punk which I'm surprised they didn't edit the Pepsi logo on the arm there. I'm very surprised by that. No date, CM Punk with the rest of the set. The only thing that's disappointing about this figure is that that little plastic 
piece, but you have to really look up close with this figure. I really hope one day CM Punk... I can meet him and get all my AEW figures signed from him, especially this one. I feel like this would look really good with like a yellow or a red paint marker. A really cool set. Overall, I'm mad that it took us this long to get these figures, but I'm happy that we actually got them in hand finally. I just really want Jeremy Padauer and the rest of the AEW Jazzwear team to really address a lot of the things that we've been criticizing with this figure line. Because it seems like they're just really not giving us enough effort and figures. I feel like things have really slowed down here. They keep getting backed up. And there's just a lot of questions that we're asking them. And I don't want this figure line to end. This is what got me back into collecting wrestling figures as a whole. But hopefully we get answers pretty soon. Maybe at Revolution, hopefully. But let me know in the comment section below your favorite figure in this line. My favorite figure has got to be this Buddy Matthews figure. I've been waiting for one for so long. But I'm also really excited about the two Chase figures that we do have in this set. Definitely worth picking up. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a best one yet already, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. The link's down in the description below. You can go follow me over on my social medias and other YouTube pages. All that down below. And of course, to all the best ones out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace. Wanna be